Can a beginner cyclist do a seven-week training program and then complete one of the hardest cycling events in the world, the gargantuan 312 kilometer Mallorca 312? We're going to find out by putting our resident novice, Freddy, through a grueling seven-week training program thanks to Wahoo System. And he's going to fit this around his regular nine-to-five job as well as his other family commitments. And this is going to be a mini-series here on GCN, so if you want to follow Freddy's progress and see if he does actually manage to complete the 312, well, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell. All right, let's go meet Freddy now. You may remember Freddy from our beginner versus amateur versus pro videos, but the viewers, they want to know more about you, Freddy. So, how long have you been properly road cycling? And what did you do before you started road cycling? Good question. So I actually started uh, in January 2020. Uh, I just started commuting to work and then COVID happened, obviously. So I just started cycling through that as well. And then you guys needed a beginner for the videos. And I was like, yeah, why not? I'll give it a go. Uh, raced, raced me and Andrew Feather. And suffered a lot, nearly died. And I thought, this is quite fun for some strange reason. And thought, why not do it more? <laughs> Uh, but before that, I actually used to play rugby throughout my teens. Was a very big rugby player, to be fair, uh, rather large. And then uh, I took up drinking at uni and stopped all <laughs> exercise. Definitely put put my arms to shame. Um, that's probably why I'm covering them up right now. Uh, but um, what's the, like the biggest ride? So since you've got in cycling, what's the biggest ride that you've done to date? So the biggest ride I've done today was 200 kilometers. I just wow. set out one morning, I thought, why not give it a crack? Did all the mistakes you could possibly think of, suffered a lot, but I got through it and uh, yeah, it was awesome. 200 kilometers, that's a bit punchy, right? And this, this is like a, a thing that we're getting in the comments now in some of the later videos you've done. People are saying, Freddie, you, you're too good. You're no longer a beginner anymore. So yeah, how do you, respond to that? Uh, well, first of all, I appreciate the compliment. It is uh, a compliment, isn't it? <laughs> it's a bit weird to me because in my head I'm still a beginner. Because when I did the first video, I didn't even know what an FTP test was. And to be fair, I saw that video and I saw me on camera and first I thought, how can you be so bad at going uphill? Did you do an FTP test after the video? Yeah, so I finished the first video and I, I knew there was going to be a reshoot. Right. So I just was determined to get faster. Right. And that's what sparked structured training, learning about what an FTP test was. At 94 kilograms, my FTP was 214 watts. And that was after a month of structured training. So the latest video, I dropped down to 80 kilos uh, wow. to an FTP of 300. But it's worth mentioning actually, and yeah. talk a little bit about it, but I did it in completely the wrong way. Yeah. Like, I, I looked great, I had a high FTP, but I felt dreadful. Mm. I felt really bad. I struggled getting up the stairs. Was just You're like overtraining. You think? Yeah, overtraining. And then, of course, my immune system went down, and I got diagnosed with Epstein Barr slash mononucleosis. Like Cav. Like Cav, but just not as good as him, to be honest. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so the doctor said basically because I've been training for this for a couple of months that I need to take a month off the bike completely. Uh, so I'm going into this with only seven weeks training, which yeah. puts the pressure on even more, actually. Yeah, and I think the fact that it was the same thing that Cav has, or had, means that people will be able to understand how much it wiped you out and how much it just reset your fitness, which must be really frustrating. But, like Cav, you know, he went and got the green jersey. So, you know, there is, uh, I guess there's, you can draw on that as sort of inspiration. Yeah, to be honest, it certainly makes it a bit more stressful. Uh, because I'm literally starting from zero again, and my FTP was pretty high to start with, so a little bit gutting. So you got bitten by the bug of cycling, and you're doing all this training around, you know, a full-time job, and you're going to be training for the 312 around a full-time job. But for the benefit of the viewers, you know, what is what is your job? So I actually am very lucky to be in a position I'm in, in the sense I actually work behind the scenes for GCN. So I'm multilingual, so I work on the international channels helping for the research and development on that side of things, which is amazing. I love my job, but it's stressful and it can be long hours. Uh, Freddie is basically GCN's C3PO. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> 
So Freddie, three, one, two, it's a real tough challenge, even for like a pro cyclist will find it difficult. Do you think you can do it? Honestly, every time I think about Marika, I am bricking it. 300 kilometers is huge for me. Um, but I just can't stop thinking how lucky and privileged I am to be in this position. So bottom line is, even if I don't make the cutoff time, I'm finishing it. And that's 14 hours. 14 hours. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I'm finishing it. So the fitness plan that Freddie's doing is based around actually a 10 week plan. But Freddie's gonna be doing it in seven weeks, which makes it extra spicy. Have you got a good pain cave set up? Yeah, I do actually. Good, because you're gonna need it. The first step is we're gonna do the half Monty Wahoo system fitness test um, to establish where you're currently at and what your baseline is. So before you say you're starting from zero, let's see if you actually are. I think you'll surprise yourself. <laughs> so, let's go. This is basically now like a budget version of MCV Cribs, but on GCN, Freddie shows you pain cave. Come on in. Here we are, wow. This is where the magic happens. As you can see, I've got the uh, indoor trainer and Wahoo have very kindly actually lent me the uh, Wahoo kicker and the Wahoo uh, headwind. If I want to work out, which is part of the training plan, throw this out and I've got this massive floor plan to do yoga, weight training, push-ups, sit-ups, you name it, it all happens here. Yeah, well, you've got Wahoo system set up on your computer as well. Yep. And like integral part of that is it's not just cycling, it's, it is that weight training. There's the mental health training aspects of it as well. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like I say, yoga and the stretching as well. That's quite cool that you can sort of get all that done in here. It's a good, it's a good pain cave. Solid pain cave, Freddie. Appreciate the compliment. Um, but the first thing we need to get you to do, as discussed, is that half Monty fitness test to establish your baseline. And then we'll go from structuring your seven week plan from there with the help of Neil Henderson, who is Rowan Dennis's coach, and now he's your coach too. I feel very honored. Thanks, Freddie. I'm excited to help you too, and to be able to help everyone else out there understand what we're doing and getting Freddie ready for Mallorca 312. So I'm Neil Henderson, and I am the head of sports science with Wahoo Fitness. I come from both an applied sports science background. I did my uh, master's degree in, in uh, kinesiology and applied physiology at CU Boulder here, where I live now in Boulder, Colorado. Um, and I've been a coach for a long time. I started off as a swim coach, moved to triathlon, and I'm focused a little bit more on cycling over the past several years. I've worked with athletes though of all levels, uh, from those who have just gotten started into endurance sports all the way up to the Olympic Games. So we're working with Freddie here to get him ready for the Mallorca 312 Challenge, which is a really big, long event, one day uh, road cycling event in Mallorca, up and down, a lot of elevation gain. Freddie is coming from a period of forced time off where he was recovering from Epstein-Barr virus. Uh, it's important to be able to listen to your body and managing something like coming from a forced period of time off with illness. And so uh, the training schedule that Freddie is following is progressive. So it doesn't start off with, you know, a big 10 hour training week. It is kind of building him up to some longer training weeks, but none of his weeks will be extreme volume. Freddie is going to be using the system training plan that we have built in. We've made a couple of adjustments to it just because most of our training plans that you'll find in system are 12 weeks long. And so we made some adjustments to the first couple of weeks since uh, we didn't get those first two weeks in, in Freddie's training schedule time-wise. Um, so we made a couple adjustments there. Uh, for anyone else out there, we actually do offer customized training plans. Most of our training plans, we assume that you've done a test before you begin to know where your fitness level is. And so we have two different tests that we offer in system. One is kind of our complete test where we look at your complete power profile from sprinting power, a five second type of effort to anaerobic capacity, a shorter like one minute max effort, as well as max aerobic power and FTP values in one session. That's what we call our full frontal. It's a pretty aggressive test though. So if you're just coming from a little bit of a, a period of time off like Freddie was, we uh, used our second test, our the half multi, to get a starting point and be able to get values for the FTP and max aerobic power effectively, as well as threshold heart rate. A little disappointed that my numbers were so low after what I was. Freddie is a lot like a lot of novice cyclists that when they come in and they're seeing uh, all the data that we can get, the, the power numbers, they sometimes get a little bit uh, too 
drawn into specific numbers and especially comparing to either where they have been previously um, or on a high point, the best ever value, or to what other people have done and comparing themselves. And in both cases, I always recommend that data is something that helps support what we do. And I definitely am a person who likes to utilize data, but it's not a be all end all. And so with Freddie in his half Monty test, um, I had some estimates of where I thought his fitness might have been because he told me, you know, where his high point was. And when he did his test, his FTP value came out of 250 watts, which for him was clearly down from where his kind of high point had been. And I, you know, reminded him that it's very important to work with the level of fitness that you're currently at if you want to get where you want to go. If you try to work at a level that you're not currently at, or if you want to, you know, try to do everything where you want to be, you, you actually never get there. So it's important to not let your desire to be higher or compared to someone else or where you've been previously cloud your judgment and try to override where you're actually at. So with Freddy as FTP, is at that 250 watt mark and his max aerobic power found that five minute power value was over 300 watts at about 310 and with his body weight right around 80 kilos he's better than a lot of people can get even with a lot of training all right well that's enough for me it's uh, about freddy right now let's go ahead and get back over to him and see how he's progressing you may see me from time to time uh talking with Freddie and giving him some advice and, and making some adjustments to his training as things go along. But uh, it's all about Freddie now. Good morning. Fortunately, I'm not quite so energetic. It's 7 a.m. in the morning. Did not sleep very well, but back out on the trainer. Had a the half Monty test, which is just like a, a ram test on steroids. Uh, I've been prescribed and our easy spin on the turbo today. So just getting that done. It's, uh, it's only 25 minutes. I'm quite thankful. It's nothing too hardcore before I go into my next sort of serious training this weekend. Freddie certainly seems very determined and enthusiastic about this challenge, which is great to see. So give this video a thumbs up if you think that Freddie's going to be able to complete the 312 and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss other videos in this series charting his progress in the next one we're going to check in with him and see how his fitness gains are coming along as he follows the wahoo system training plan set by neil but uh i want to go get a um i'm gonna go get a coffee now see you later